Hey guys, welcome to part 9. In this video we're going to be adding some animation to the object and the camera. And we're going to start by expanding our timeline window. And from the output tab we can change the animation length to 90 frames. And if we set the frame rate to 30, that's 30 frames per second, 90 frames. So the animation will be 3 seconds in total. And if we scroll down we can change the file format to FFmpeg video. For the encoding you can use Matroska or you can select an alternative like QuickTime. You can choose your output quality in your codec, H.264 looks good to me. And I'm then going to select the diamond and press N to bring out the side panel and navigate to item. And if I rotate around the Z axis you can see the diamond spins round. So we'll set this to zero, right click and insert a single keyframe. Or we can just press I and insert a keyframe for all rotation axes. And if we go down to the timeline, you can see on frame 1 there is now a keyframe. Let's scrub forward to frame 90. And we'll adjust the Z axes. I'm going to set this to 180. And you can see it turns orange, indicating that I've made a change. Now to commit this change and add a keyframe, I need to hover my mouse over the rotation fields and press I. And then they turn yellow and a new keyframe has been created and I can use these icons to navigate between keyframes or I can jump back to the beginning. I can now press play and I can see the diamond spin around. Now this animation will repeat over and over again and I can also press the spacebar to stop and start the animation. Now you can animate most properties for most objects in Blender and this includes cameras. So with the camera selected I'm going to add some keyframes on frame 1, scrub to frame 90, add some more keyframes. I'm then going to go back to that first frame, move the camera up on the Z axis, rotate it on the X axis and then press I on both of these fields to commit those changes. I can then scrub between the keyframes and you can see the camera starts high and then finishes low. And with the keyframe selected we can press T on the keyboard to set the keyframe interpolation and these settings change how the animations behave. We can also right click on a keyframe and change things like easing. And if we select ease in and out, the animation will gradually speed up at the beginning and then gradually slow down at the end. Now we've got this far, we probably should have done this at the beginning, but go to file and save as. Just save your project in case anything happens. And once we've done that, we're all good to start rendering. So let's go to render and down to render animation. Now this has to render 90 frames, so that is 90 still images. So once again, I've sped this up for your convenience. This would typically take a long time. And once the render's finished, it will be saved as a video file to your specified location. And you can always go to render and view animation to see it in action. Why it puts it in the corner of a big black box on my computer? No idea. But let's make it bigger and see the final animation in all its glory. And if you spend a bit longer on it, you can get something that looks like this. And there we go, so hopefully you enjoyed this introduction into 3D and Blender. You probably have a million questions, as do I most of the time, and you can pop those down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, or even the whole series, hey, why not subscribe, ring the bell for more, and I'll see you next time.